morning gardening friends so me and my dog pickles are out here this morning I'm gonna check out the garden got a nice smoothie beets garden greens garlic ginger kombucha water um, strawberries bananas all in here excuse me so the garden is looking really awesome so come with me and let's just check out all right so of course I'm super excited about the flowers that are left over the marigolds and this is so funny some of them bloomed a lot later than others I have some that are totally finished totally drying out and then I have some that are still just showing their beauty so that's pretty exciting and the brassicas over there are doing great we'll go check those out the um, zucchini that I planted are doing pretty good um, I see I have a little little one coming here that's exciting I don't know if we'll have time before the frost but hopefully and then the beets are coming out I love 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 beets I love their greens so I have those over here the Malabar spinach you guys is insane so it's all through here and I just come out all the time and pick it I don't know what's gonna happen to it I'm sure it won't like the cold but it is just everywhere everywhere it was it is again <laughs> Just a beautiful space this lettuce is doing amazing I can't wait to eat some of this lettuce there are radishes in here beautiful dill kale um, the peppers are still hanging on over here lots of peppers still on these plants basil still hanging in my little pile of microgreens is turning into some big kale and I can just keep picking from that carrots are looking good I have these rogue potatoes here's another rogue potato there's another rogue potato here and a little one there that's what happens when you don't dig them all out carrots are doing okay through here I need to come out and pick the, the rest of these black eyed peas that came up um, I also tried to get some more acorn squash and that didn't work out too late in the season here Coming through here. I've got a tomato trying to come up. That's not gonna work out <clears throat> I did do some more little rows down here with some lettuce and cilantro that's coming up pretty good down there Look at this so This is unreal to me these are um, Broccoli, cabbage, Brussels sprouts, and cauliflower. Got those from our little tractor supply store and they are doing amazing. I did give them some 511 fish emulsion when I first planted them. And then just last week I grabbed some of my compost that was finishing and I put it into a bucket, made it into a slurry, and I just kind of poured it around the base of the plants to hopefully feed them. But I mean, these look so beautiful, so I'm so excited. I've never successfully grown broccoli. I've had one rogue cabbage make it once and then um, never had Brussels sprouts or cauliflower, so super excited. Through here is the garlic and I need to come in when it gets cold and mulch that up. Another rogue potato right there. And more broccoli. And these are huge. Really excited about that. And that's pretty much it for this garden. And the flowers are peeking over here. So I'll give you a peek of the peeking flowers. These marigolds took forever to come too, but they're finally here. Elephant ears, they're gonna die off in the winter and come back. And I've heard that in the spring is when I should move them. And I'm gonna move one of these because it's beautiful and I want more I mean it's just crazy so coming through here the zinnias beautiful beautiful wow and the spider had its babies oh look at all those little spiders eek yikes 
Okay, I'm gonna back away from that slowly. And the last thing I wanna show you, just right over here, is I have some, some greens over here, some beets and some more kale, and I think this is bok choy, um, or no, it's kohlrabi, kohlrabi. And then I transplanted some more kale over to here to give it space. I would love to have kale going all winter. And the greenhouse is still doing doing well. Things are doing good in there. I left it open last night because it was like 65 degrees last night. And I'll go walk you over there real quick. If you're interested in checking out my greenhouse, these candy cane zinnias are gorgeous. Still going. It's super joyful. I will miss my garden, um, but hopefully I'll have greens all winter and that'll keep me, keep me happy. It's just a place to go to find peace for me. So I love having a reason to go into my garden. All right, and here's the greenhouse. Uh, I wanted to tell you, I'll try to pop in a picture, but finally got one of my peppers to turn yellow. And they're supposed to be lemon peppers, and they're supposed to be less hot than regular jalapenos. Not the case. I tried one. Not the case. <laughs> this Malabar spinach is doing awesome. It's trying to climb up here. Um, this tomato that was just a little, a little tomato that started on its own, you know, a little volunteer in my pot, and I let it go. It's trying to make tomatoes. It's huge. So. That's exciting. Beautiful basil is flowering. And yeah, doing good. I've got ants. I've got ants in my greenhouse. They're all in my hibiscus. They're all in that fern down there. So that's a little rough. The lime tree is doing good. I stuck some beans around the bottom of it. So there's my little key limes. They're starting to turn yellow. I'm probably going to go ahead and pick most of them. Um, let's check what the temperature was really quick. And then I got a yoga class to go to. Yay! Oh yeah, so it only got down to 66 Fahrenheit last night. Or 19 Celsius. And right now it is 21 Celsius and 70 degrees outside. So, still really nice here in Louisiana. I'm thankful. A couple peppers still on that pepper over here. Strawberry transplants are doing good. And I do have a plan to do some more garden beds right here before winter so that they can set over winter and get ready for spring. So thank you so much for tuning in. Um, I hope that you're doing good. And I uh, hope you like this video. Take good care. And I'll see you soon. Happy gardening.